I watched the fires burn all night. Smoke blocking out the stars, water hissing as the hull of my old ship blackened around his body. Dowd, gone at last. How many tried to kill you and came no closer than I did all those years ago? How much coin was on your head, old man? Now no one but the Void can collect. For years, I imagined the Outsider offering me his mark. Instead, he's given me the knife that made him. A weapon that can surely unmake him as well. I can't begin to understand his motives, but I know what Dowd wanted. And if he's got to wander the Void forever, maybe I can give him some measure of peace by ending this. As the dreadful whale burned to cinders, did the Outsider laugh? Or just watch. Same as me. It's as fine a pyre as I could make. Farewell, Dowd. I'll finish what you started. I had that ship for years, and it burned away in hours. Dowd is dead. And Megan Foster died with him. One of the Islas. A painter and pharmacist stole information about how to enter the void. His name was Cienfuegos, and he was obsessed, just like the rest of them. But he went too far. Before the Eyeless killed him, he sent what he'd stolen to the curator of the Royal Conservatory. Maybe she could have helped him. He never found that out. The curator is gone, but whatever Cienfuegos sent her is still there. The Abbey of the Everyman has taken over. They've sent overseers and oracular sisters to search the place for heresy. I need to find whatever's left of the pharmacist's archive before they tear the conservatory apart. For years, we planned jobs just like the bank. Watching houses from rooftops, Stealing keys, bribing servants, sharpening our blades as we waited for the right moment. You were proud of what we could do. I knew that much. The information I need could be in the archives down in the conservatory basement, or in the curator's office. It'll be full of Abbey zealots either way. It made me the man I was. As I look out on the water for the last time, I know none of that matters. Who I thought I was will end with me. All that will be left of me is your memories. You were the best I ever taught. Your betrayal was expected. For the lives we led then, you had no choice but to turn against me. But now, I find myself counting on you again. You have what you need. You will find out what to do. It's time, Billy. We kill the Outsider. Remove this terrible power from the world. For everything we did, and everything it did to us. I could have died a hundred bloody ways. But in the end, here I am, on your ship, sipping your last good whiskey. <laughs> That's not so bad. Thank you, Billy. And farewell. Some minds get fixed on one thing and never find a way out. Cienfuegos wanted to see the void. Well, maybe he's seen it now. Only the outsider knows how long the Eyeless have kept their hideout a secret. I'll find out where it is. Even the oracular order is here. That's strange. They almost never leave their chapels. 
months ago, the conservatory closed with barely a warning. The Abbey is only just finding out what black magic was being practiced inside. I'll finish what you started, Dowd. A fine day's work, brother. We need only record the heretical text we burned today, and our task is complete. Now, where's that ledger? Here, on the bench. But don't worry. I already noted all of the burned books. We should see if Sister Rosewood needs a hand, though. She discovered There's nothing I can save like from that fire. Office. It's all ashes. Uh, what now? I need Another to check that ledger and see if romance? what I want is still here. More bizarre cures for impotence? I tell you, I've seen enough take one mandrake root recipes to last a lifetime. No, this was different. Sister Rosewin saw the archive's hiding place in a vision. She seemed deeply disturbed by what was in it, from what Brother Diaz told me. He heard her whisper, this could destroy the Abbey. What? Stop this talk. It is nearing blasphemy. Sister Rosewind is keeping documents in the curator's office. I need to find them. I shall not abide the football of a blasphemous wanderer. <coughs> Over here! What do you want? It's my Lonnie. He went into that building with the red poster over there. Said he wanted to check for something real quick like, well, that was hours ago, and he's not back. And with overseers crawling all over the place, I just know something bad happened. You look tough. Why don't you go check on him? Can't. Promised I'd stay put right here, out of harm's way. Lon says we can't risk us both getting hurt, especially if... Please, can you just go check on him for me? I'll make it worth your while. The void test mysteries and crazed answers. But all it gives is a form to the world's fears. A hole in the world. you're in there. Surrender and we won't harm you for entering a quarantined area. We'll just deliver you to the void. Open the door! Open the cursed door! Calm yourself. You can't stay in there forever. Do you think he escaped through a back exit? It's a bar. He's probably drunk and passed out. Us. You know, that's what I should have said. Last warning! Open up, or we blow the damn door open! Stay here, brother, while I search the back room. If he runs, block him. No. We saw you skulk into this place. We will find you. We know what you're doing. Reveal yourself, criminal. No. Mm -hmm. Dead. 
We'll need to write a report for Brother Cardoza. At least we found him before he began to snap. Uh... Huh? Hey, you! Please. I'm sorry. He didn't make it. But I found this letter with him. Thought you might want it. Oh, no. Lonnie. Thank you. Here. Take this for your trouble. Thanks. I appreciate it. The streets are closed on Abbey orders. jump. It's been a long time since anyone came in through that door. You drive a hard bargain. I bet be on my guard. As soon as I save enough, it's all yours. Enjoy. Come back next time you need something. You're armed with the teeth.
nothing here. Let's have a look around. We need to prepare the carriage for the roving vice overseer. He travels to Calero, then Dunwall on Abbey business later today.
Ah, his mission here must be concluded then. For such a urgent task, he made short work of it. So it would seem. I'm certain the High Overseer will be most interested Someone in there. his report about what transpired here, and in the Oracular Sister's prophecy uh, that he carries Nothing with. after all.
making soft, harmless food. the vent system. I don't know, but I saw her crawl out of that open hatch in the courtyard. I believe there is now only one witch left alive in the cellar holding chamber. Our therapy has thinned their numbers. Have you searched this one's corpse? Not yet. Brother Cardoza will want to examine it personally. Her death will serve the Abbey better than her wicked life ever could. Very true, brother. We must send someone to inspect that vent. We don't want another desperate rat creeping through the pipes. Some confessed outright. Others denied wrongdoing until confronted with their heresy. Trinkets of mocked bone, effigies of hair and teeth, pages filled with occult markings, and then... the tears! They were scrambling to testify against one another by the end. They hoped betraying their sisters would compel us to mercy. But they were all found guilty, naturally. We could barely hear the sentencing over their wails. I am sorry to have missed it. <sighs> Once back in Brother Cartoza's face and said she would never confess. <laughs> Did she? No. <laughs> we cut out her tongue. <laughs> Anyone here? Show yourself!
Another dead witch. What happened this time? Brother Cardoza says they keep dying during therapy. He says there's a heretical organ inside them that turns the healing no power way, of music this is into a cure. Pain. Their corrupted bodies reject the cleansing by the strictures. Imagine being so impure, so enthralled to the abyss that you can't survive the sacred music. Those poor, lost creatures. Don't waste your pity on them, brother. They chose to serve the outsider. They chose their profane ways. They deserve to die. People got a lesson they never do. Oh, I'll never get used to it. Have you ever encountered one of our blind sisters before, Brother Cirillo? It is very rare indeed for them to journey beyond their travels. I only saw them once before. I... no, I have not. This is the first time. If I may ask, Brother, why are they here not? Surely we can manage these heretics on them. Remember, brother, their visions see beyond what you or I may understand in the present. Their prophecies guide the Abbey, and their pronouncements guide you. Yes, yes, and of course you are correct. I will be wary of the arid mind. See that you do. Hmm. Who opened this door? Maybe the wind or something. What was that? Huh? Who opened this door? Yeah. 
Someone there. What's going on? What? The window. Maybe the wind or something. showed that their black magic drew on the threads of kinship we share with our fallen brethren. These witches sought to twist our prophecies to their own ends. They could plant lies in our mouths with this machine. What protections do we have against these violations in the future? Be calm, Sister Talus. We will study this sinister device in full once we have laid our fallen sisters to rest. Restless hands. She should be burned in the street with the rest of the filth. Why isn't she? It's been three days since she fell. I must send a message to the overseers to come and clean this up. The overseers need to be reminded of their place.
roots of heresy run rampant and deep here. The High Overseer will want a thorough inventory of every profane item. <laughs> to the trance. Uh -huh. Sister Rosemary seems agitated today. I believe a recent vision presses upon her. She and a few of our sisters are on the terrace now. We must join them. Burn the heresy out of this foul place. We see everything in time. Everything in this place reeks of terrible magic. the Abbey's future. <laughs> requests your presence on the terrace. It's about the Heretic Archive. She wants you to take it. Yes, yes, very good. Tell Sister Rosewyn I'll be right there. I need to finish one little test first, before this creature's flesh degrades further. In my mind. Hmm. I inhaled the fumes... Curvature is eroded in the front of the room. Unusual separation. It's as the stricture says. The errant mind becomes fractious and divided. Fascinating. We will burn the, the sacred heresy. music seems to have corroded the arterial network leading to the seat of cognition. The dense tissue here. The anemic blood. Yes. 
Yes. Decidedly abnormal. Where does the seat of... ...of heresy lie? Which wayward organ compels these wretched creatures to seek the void? To heed the outsider's dark whispers? What are they looking for? That they'd love to cut me open too. Cardo's at last. I've concluded my study of the hidden archive, especially this silver graph plate. A silver graph plate? What did you find out? Is there something special about it? It is an abomination. Darkness clings to it. We must destroy it, lest it fall into less righteous hands. Show it to no one and burn its heretical stain from the world. I got it. I can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know. Which wayward organ compels these wretched creatures to seek the void, to heed the outsider's dark whispers? Perhaps if I excise the witch's eyes next time before playing the music. Yes, corrupted vision, the shattered senses. What are they looking for? That they'd love to cut me open too. Cardo's at last. I've concluded my study of the hidden archive, especially this silver graph plate. A silver graph plate? What did you find out? Is there something special about it? It is an abomination. Darkness clings to it. We must destroy it, lest it fall into less righteous hands. Show it to no one and burn its heretical stain from the world. I got it. I can take a look at this with a silver graph projector. If the oracular order really can see the future, then this silver graph plate will tell me what I need to know.
Bite, 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 bite. This is what I needed. Bellatana drops, pots of rouge, <laughs> tricks to entice the wandering gaze. volumes of forbidden knowledge, the outsider's hand, voices of the dead, enter the void, a guide. Oh, what was that? Huh? Did you hear that? Probably. There shouldn't be anything on this part of the mountain. Shindere North Quarry. That's where the Eyeless are getting into the void. I should keep the Silver Graph Plate with me.
There's a darkness at the center of all things. It'll change you if you think about it too much, but it's always there. It waits for you. When I was in hiding, I tried to forget everything that I was. Now I aim to keep my promise to a dead man, someone who meant the world to me. Sometimes I still hear Dowd's voice echoing through the metal of this miserable knife. This is the strangest, most important thing I've been through. And that's saying a lot. There's a mining complex on Shindere Peak. Somehow so obscure that most people don't believe it exists. That mad cult lives there. Protecting the one place that can bring me face to face with the outsider himself. Years ago, I heard Dowd talking about the void. A fear that grips your throat, bends your spine. But I can't turn away now. What will we have left if the outsider's gone? His name might be lost to the void, but tonight, I'll find out if he can still bleed. This is the place, Shindere North Quarry. It shouldn't exist, but from what I can see, this place is real. 